What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Tech and today I wanted to do a quick video showing you guys how to secretly share files over the internet. Okay, so the application I want to talk about today is called Onion Share. And this will allow you to actually share uh documents, you know, pretty much anything uh, by using uh, Tor. In this application, it allows you to basically spin up a Tor web server and you can share files on it. You'll just have to, you know, send that link to whoever and then they can retrieve the files from your actual server uh, over the dark web. So uh, I just wanted to show you guys, I ran across this uh, application uh, while I was looking through the AUR and I saw that it was pretty interesting. I just figured I'd show you guys how to actually install it and use it. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is show you guys the actual application. I want to read a little bit about it just so you guys can get a uh, understanding of how it actually works more than me just explaining it. And so I'm going to just go to ArchLinux.org, go to the AUR. And there's a package search right there. So you just hit onion share and it'll bring up that actual package onion share. And I'm going to actually click on their GitHub. And I believe there's a link to a website they have. Uh, so anyway, this is the package. So it's in the AUR. You will have to use uh, yay. Or build a package using make, but uh, let's go to uh, GitHub right fast. And here is the files for it. Uh, it was developed by McAfee. Um, and here's the information from the README. Uh, Onion Share is an open source tool for securely and anonymously sending and receiving files using the Tor Onion service. Uh, it works by starting a web server. Like I said, directly on your computer and make it access accessible as an unguessable Tor web address that others can load in in the Tor browser uh, to download files from you or upload files to you. It doesn't require setting up a separate server using a third party file sharing service or even logging into an account. Um, unlike services like email, Google Drive, Dropbox, you know, etc., or any other way typically send files to each other. When you use OnionShare, you don't give any companies access to the files. So long as you share the unguessable web address in a secure way. Uh, for instance, what I do when I send out the link, uh, I encrypt my email. I send it through uh, Google, but I use uh, an actual email uh, program uh, called Thunderbird. I haven't done a video on that yet. I might do a video on that, but you can actually create keys or whatever, and you can encrypt the email and send it on to whoever you need to. And uh, that way Google or any of these other companies can't see the, the link that you actually send in them in the email. And then they can just open up the email uh, using the tour browser uh, and then download the files from there. So and just to continue along, it says, so long as you share the unguessable web address in a secure way, like I said, yeah, encrypted messaging app, no one but you and the person you're sharing with can access the files. So uh, to learn to learn how Unshare works, what's the security properties, uh, properties or and how to use it, check out the wiki. So there is a wiki for it. Uh, and actually, I'll pull that up as well. Um, and these are the installation instructions as well as contributing to onion, onion share. Uh, and this is screenshot of what it looks like. And this application, it could be used for like, uh, people that's trying to send information to like reporters or something like leaked or classified information to reporters, um, to break a story or whatever, just so nobody can actually see the files or see that you sent it to them or know who actually sent it to them uh, to keep things very anonymous. So it's a great application. Let me go on and show you guys how to install it and how to actually use it. 
Okay, so guys, today I'm using Manjaro, uh, which is an arch based distribution. It's pretty simple to use for this demonstration. So I installed it with the XLCE desktop. It uh, already has Yay installed, which is a AUR helper to actually help you install things from the AUR. Uh, and I like to do things from the command line, but also let me show you guys right fast on how to actually install it through the package manager so as you can see uh this is the package manager that's set up uh, and you can go in and go to the preferences it's going to ask you for your password type it in and then if you go here to aur all you have to do is enable the aur and you're good to go and um so you can actually search now. Once you do that, you can actually search for AUR packages. Like I'm pretty sure if I type it in here, uh, it'll it'll search and find it. And there it is. That's cool. You can install it that way or whatever. I'm gonna install it from the command line. You know what I'm saying? I like to do it that way because I like to see what's going on when you install and stuff. So uh, sudo pacman dash uh, S and then it's onion share and press enter. I don't know. It's just something about me. I like to and actually screw it up. <clears throat> I have to use a yay because uh, it's in the AUR. So let's make it simple. So don't use Pac-Man for that package. It'll, it'll probably error out. And uh, it's going to install all those packages, 18 packages. It's mostly Python. Um, and I believe I may have to install the Tor browser uh, or the Tor service. I'm not sure if it installs it here. Yeah, it does. It's there. Okay, so when you install it, it installs the dependencies. I wasn't sure because uh, I tried installing it on Ubuntu. I had a couple issues where I had to kind of build it from source. So... Uh, and it didn't include the Tor browser. Uh, the package is kind of kind of weird on that side uh, on Ubuntu. So uh, I recommend using an Arch, uh, but it's possible to install it on Ubuntu. Okay, so now that we have it installed, let me show you guys how to actually run the application. And you can find it in your uh, you know applications, or you could just run Onion Share from the terminal, and it'll start it up. But we'll just open up the application. It's pretty simple uh, to use. Like I said, it's it's like very simple. So let me let me actually uh, create a file right fast in my my documents. Let's say this is my secret file dot txt and press enter there and it'll create that file so this will be the file that we want to share on our uh, onion share so if we go here we can actually drag the file there and once you add whatever files you want to add like you could put a folder let's do that as well let's create a folder uh just to show you guys uh, some different stuff so secret folder boom and let's copy this file into here as well so i'm gonna put both up there um so secret folder as well just show you that it works uh either way so uh once you do that all you have to do is click the button that says start sharing and it'll connect to the tour network it'll generate that site and it'll create a link now this is the hard part you want to get this link and secretly share it with whoever you're trying to share it to or send it to okay so we copied the address and uh what i'm gonna have to do is show you guys how to actually get to the site from my main desktop so uh let's minimize this so i actually get out of it and uh, open up a browser right fast. Let's go down here. And what we, what we want to do is, uh, and actually, 
just so just to show you guys, I'm I'm using Brave, which is uh, uh it's a a very privacy conscious uh browser. Uh, you can use it on Windows and Linux. So I'll I'll do a video on it, just showing you guys it. Anyway, just to show you guys it has Tor built into it, so you don't even have to open up the Tor browser. You can just open up Brave and then hit New Private Window in Tor, and it'll open up a Tor browser for you. So, um, so this is the link. Um, I'm gonna pay. All you have to do is paste it in there in a port Tor browser. Um, and there you go. So once you send that information over to uh, whoever, or once you send the link over, then all they have to do is go to that link. And like I said, it's a web server running. So all this uh, stuff is on a, on a web server, essentially, uh, that they create, create with an onion link. So it's a pretty cool application. You know what I'm saying? You guys should check it out if you, you know, need to send like secure, um, secure files to anyone you you don't want to uh you don't want it to get intercepted by anybody you know you could try to use this so i just wanted to show you guys this application and actually let me go back to it and stop it stop sharing and you can also receive files so you can start up a receive mode and this will allow people to actually um upload files to your computer uh and i want to show you that uh it's pretty simple the same way you get an onion onion um address and they go to that link and then they can upload stuff to your your site and then you can actually publish a website if you want to um so you could put your information on here or whatever your, your html files css files or whatever and publish a site out on the dark web so to speak so uh but pretty much that's all I want to do is show you guys this application, man. It's a pretty cool application in case you need to send some securely, like I said. Uh, so check it out for yourself. And please like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Uh, and keep it techie.